All right, so last two here. The second to last one says 13 plums. Uh, purple with the plums, all right, fair enough. <laughs> 13 plums weigh as much as two apples and one pear. Four plums and one apple have the same weight as one pear. How many plums have the weight of one pear? So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to set up some equations. I have 13 plums, so I'm going to represent that as 13p. And that is equal to two apples, or 2a, plus one pair. Well, I've already used p. I'm going to use r for pair. So is equal to one r. I also know that four plums and one apple have the same weight as one pair. So one r is equal to four plums, or four p, plus one apple, or one a. And I need to find out how many plums have the weight of one pair. So I'm really trying to figure out r equals how many plums? p, so question mark p. How many plums are equal to how many pairs? So I'm really trying to solve here for either um, p or r, I'm trying to get this done. Well, right now I've got an equation with a bunch of different variables, equation with a bunch of different variables. So I want to make this easier myself. And one of the things I can do is I notice here that is 1r is equal to this. Well, in this equation, I've got 1r. So I can take this 1r and replace it with what 1r equals, which is 4p and 1a. So now I have an equation of 13p equals 2a plus 4p plus 1a. Well, 13p then equals 2a plus 1a is 3a plus 4p. And now I want to try to get you know, one of these variables by itself. Well, I know that I have p on both sides of my equation, so I'm going to get rid of this 4p by subtracting it, which means I would subtract it over here. And so my new equation is 9p equals 3 A. Uh -huh. something else. So if I divide both of these by 3, I would then get 3p equals 1 apple. Okay? So I know that 1 apple is the same as 3 plums. Now if I go back to this equation, I've got one apple. So I can replace that one apple with what it's equal to, which is 3p. So here then I've got 1r equals 4p plus 3p, or 1r equals 7p. So if I go up to back to my thing, it says how many plums have the weight of one pair? Well, one pair we, we said was r. Here I've got one pair. And it is equal to seven plums. So that is my answer. And that's how I can solve that problem. And the last one. A dollar is changed into 16 coins consi consisting of just nickels and dimes. How many coins of each kind were in the change? So there's two ways to kind of approach this problem. One is to build a table with nickels and dimes. I know I have to have 20 coins. I'm sorry, I know I need, yeah, 20 coins in all. Why do I need 20 coins? Why did I just say that? 16 coins of just nickels and dimes. So I can start, and I could have just 16 nickels. And I could have just zero dimes. And if I have 16 nickels and I have zero dimes, I would have 80 cents, because a nickel's worth, worth five cents. Now, if I have to have 16 coins every time, if I get rid of one nickel, it means I'm going to add a dime. 15 nickels is 75 cents. One dime is 10 cents. So now I have 85 cents. If I subtract one here, I'm going to add another one here. 
14 nickels is 70 cents. Two dimes is 20 cents, so I have a total of 90 cents. So I've already found a pattern here, and that is every time I get rid of a nickel and add a dime, I'm going to add 5 cents. So I need to, if I add 5 cents, I'm going to get 95 cents. And if I add 5 more cents, I'm going to get my $1, which is exactly what I need. So if I go back to this, I got rid. So when I, got, when I started with 16 nickels, to get rid of one nickel, I'd have five. I rid of five cents. Two nickels got me to 90. So three nickels got me to 95. And get rid of four nickels would get me to a dollar. So that would mean I have 12 nickels. And if I have 16 coins, that means a half, 16 coins. That means I have to have four dimes. And again, I can check my work here. Four dimes is 40 cents. 12 nickels is 60 cents. That makes exactly a dollar, so I know my answer is correct. So that's one way to do that problem. Using the same strategy I've been doing on all the other problems, we could do it a separate way. We could say that a dime, which is worth 10 cents, and my nickels, which are worth 5 cents, added together make 100 cents. I also know that if I add all my dimes in total, and all the nickels I have in total, I get 16 coins. So, per usual, I want to get rid of one of my variables, either the D's or the N's. So one way I could do that is I could make N1 by dividing both sides of this by 5. Okay, 10 divided by 5 is 2, so I have two dimes left. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so I have 1n, one and 100 divided by 5 is 20. And then I can subtract away my other equation. n minus n would get rid of that. 2d minus d gives me 1 dime, and 20 minus 16 equals 4. So this tells me that I'm going to have 4 dimes. If I have 16 coins at all, that means my nickels have to be 12. So another way to solve that problem, using algebraic formulas like we did before. So hopefully uh, that will help you get through these. Watch them again if you need to. Um, try them over and over until you get them down. And we'll have other videos for the next couple pages ready in the next couple days.